Good afternoon and welcome to an update here from the mayor's office. Uh, Happy New Year. I hope you had a really relaxing and safe holiday uh, and that you celebrated saying goodbye to 2020 and welcoming in a new year. Uh, you know, even with the the change in the year uh, it doesn't mean that we have changes in some of the challenges that we still face here in the community and the biggest one continues to be COVID-19 and the pandemic. So we are seeing um, some bright lights. Uh, obviously we're really excited to have a vaccine that's available. Uh, however, we still are living with a pandemic and we know we need to continue to, to really follow those medical precautions. Uh, continue to get tested if you are sick, stay home if you are sick. Uh, and then just be assured that there are a lot of individuals in the community working hard to make sure that uh, we have one, available vaccines. We know that that's an issue right now and we're hopeful with the new administration and with the um, really support from the governor that we're able to get uh, access to more to more vaccines as soon as possible. Um, but we're working with our, our county supporting their efforts as well as our hospital systems to make sure that we have a plan that as soon as we get access to more vaccines, we're able to roll those out throughout our community as quickly as possible. So I encourage you, if you have concerns about the vaccine, I encourage you to reach out to our health department. There's a lot of good information about frequently asked questions. I will be getting my vaccine as soon as I am eligible. Um, I want to make sure that there's access to the vaccine for individuals who are more vulnerable. Uh, but I'm, I'm not a fan of needles. I don't like needles at all. But uh, for this one, I'll close my eyes and get the vaccine because I know it's the right thing to do to, to really address this pandemic uh, and make sure that people are not infected with COVID moving forward. Uh, so I hope you continue to follow uh, what's happening with the vaccine, but also step up to get a vaccine when it's your time. Uh, this year, we come into this year, again, facing a lot of challenges from the pandemic. We're still focused on economic recovery. That will be a priority of mine this year, as well as uh, priorities around public safety and violence prevention coming off a, a year where we saw record-breaking gun violence, just devastating in our community. Uh, and then housing, so very concerned about housing stability and the increase in individuals experiencing instability with housing as well as homelessness. That will be a priority. Our, our priority right now is to get some federal support to help us with eviction prevention, to make sure that people can stay in their homes, especially if they have been financially impacted by COVID. So you'll continue to see work, uh, not just from the city. This is a complex issue that really requires a lot of partners in the community. Uh, and I appreciate all of their work and partnership as we come together to try to figure out how best to solve complex community problems that have been exacerbated because of the pandemic. Uh, a couple other things. Yesterday we came together to celebrate the inauguration of our new president, President Biden. Uh, I'm eager to see what his administration will do in support of cities. Uh, yesterday he signed a number of executive orders and one that we were really pleased with uh, that I personally, as a mayor that has been a part of the mayors for, for climate or the climate mayors as we call ourselves, um, I was really happy to see that he signed the Paris Climate Accord that is very much aligned with our goals here at the city around environmental sustainability. In my belief, and many uh, mayors throughout the country, our belief that the United States needs to be a leader when it comes to climate action on the global stage. Uh, and as I said, they're very much aligned with a lot of our goals here at the city around environmental sustainability. We continue to move forward with our efforts uh, to increase our renewable energy use. So we'll be opening up our biodigester this year at our wastewater treatment facility where we'll be taking uh, waste and sludge and we'll be turning that into renewable natural gas. Uh, we're moving forward on trying to get approval for a solar array at our Lake Michigan filtration plant. We're in the process of converting our street lights to LED, which will reduce energy usage. Uh, the list goes on and on, and you can find out more if you're interested in what our goals are around, specifically around environmental sustainability at the city's website. Uh, and then last, you know, we're in the midst of the winter season, and even though it's a little chillier outside, I encourage you to still get outside and embrace winter, uh, enjoy our parks and our trails, get out sledding, uh, come downtown there's or into the neighborhoods where there's lots of spaces that you can still sit outside 
outside and enjoy a meal or a drink. Uh, and then downtown has a whole host of winter activities that they've set up, including a number of beautiful outside art exhibits. So if you haven't been downtown yet for the World of Winter, I encourage you to do that. You can go to the website, World of Winter, and you can look at a full list of events and activities that you can participate in, all of them at no cost. So it's a great way to you know, get out with your family, connect with friends in a safe way, uh, enjoy the outside, get some fresh air, uh, and really just reconnect with one another and have some fun. Just because it's cold doesn't mean that we can't get outside and enjoy the season. Uh, so with that, I hope you have a very happy January and I look forward to continuing to work on you know, finding solutions to the challenges that we face, but also celebrating the opportunities that we have together this year.